My name is Keith. And I'm Felicia. And we just moved here to the beautiful city of Albuquerque. We're on a mission to find some of the most delicious and unique foods the Duke City has to offer. Follow us as we discover some of the most Enchanted, Enchanted Foods of ABQ. ABQ. We're on a mission to find some of the most unique and delicious restaurants all over Albuquerque. But not all restaurants are stationary. We found an old school bus converted into a food truck. That's right, let's check out the Munchie Truck. Oh my gosh, I love the inside of your bus. Thank you, awesome. thank you. So we are here with Amanda and she's gonna make some amazing food. What are you gonna make today? So today I'm gonna do our drunk chicken slider. Ooh. My beer pork is actually for our Korean barbecue pork slider, and that features Lacumbre's Hazy IPA. I also have our red chili pork. Our red chili is locally sourced from a uh, lady who works at the Salva Economic Development Center. She just started a small business, so we're sourcing our red chili locally from her. And then I'm gonna do some nachos up for you guys too, because who doesn't love nachos? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get our munchie on. All right, guys. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna drop off this falafel here. So our falafels are handmade by us. So what makes our falafel a little bit different than other people's is we actually use panko to bread it. And that texture difference within the patty of the uh, garbanzo beans and all the seasonings and that crunch, it really melds well with the whole slider concept. Mm -hmm. How long have you had this socket gadget? So we've been we're operating since 2018. We actually initially started out as an ice cream truck. Wow. And so we started off just selling ice cream, prepackaged goods to the neighborhoods, to the schools here in the community, and things like that. But just with the shutdowns, we just lost all the business from last year. So what wow. happened? How did y'all, how are y'all still here? Well, we kind of played it smart. So we shut down with the initial shutdown and we're like, instead of going out and trying to hustle and wasting money on preparing food that's not going to sell, let's just shut down. Let's make sure our bills are paid and we'll figure it out as we go. We decided to start doing meal prep. So we started meal prepping here on the bus and building food kits, and we go and deliver them to people's homes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And so a lot of our regu regular customers hopped on that and really kept us actually going and kept our bills paid and stuff. Oh That's my incredible. gosh, Albuquerque um, is such a great community. It is, it's such a great community. I mean, really without that, I don't know what we would have done. So it, what are you making here? Right here, I'm, I'm mixing up our herb aioli uh, coleslaw that we use actually as the base for the sliders. All right, we will start with the drunk chicken slider first. And you know what I love? I love the portion. Yeah. Thank you. This is legit if you got the munchies. Those portions oh, yeah. are huge. We didn't want to get pigeonholed into one thing, one type of food, because that's part of our creativity too. We change the menu every week. Every, every week, week there will be a new, either the whole menu will be changed or there'll be two or three new things on there. So we try, if we find something that we're really passionate about, that we really love, we'll create a menu item for that product oh, and figure cool. out how to make it work. So that's our drunk chicken slider. That's our Korean barbecue pork slider. Ooh, that looks good. That's our Korean barbecue sauce. We make okay. that totally from scratch. So we buy gotcha chong, rice vinegar, sesame seed oil, soy sauce, um, and I'll keep a couple of little other secrets on there. Little secrets, can't tell the And it, it makes our Korean barbecue sauce kind of stand out from other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the falafel. That's our scratch made tzatziki sauce on top. So that's a Greek yogurt cucumber sauce. Yeah. Tzatziki sauce. And, then scratch green and green onions on top. Love it. Ooh, I can't wait to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our New Mexico favorite, so. My Uncle Herman was my biggest inspiration for the food truck. He was my biggest fan. So every after every shift, here I go driving to Uncle Herman's house. He always wanted it super simple. So he always wanted meat, nacho cheese, and chili on top. That's it. So when he passed away uh, on Mother's Day, actually, last year, I finally came up with the idea for something that was, you know, true bread New Mexico. And we came up with our red chili pork slider. So we use a locally made red chili, not bueno, sharp cheddar cheese sauce, simple and to the point. How's the food truck like? Is it tough when you're trying to drive around, navigate <laughs> all these places, deal with traffic and set up and break down and you know, all that stuff? It, it, there's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes. I mean, it, it, is, it is intense, but it's a lot of work that we love. And I like to stay busy. We serve a lot of the charter schools. Um, we also serve, Marcus and I both are on the governing board for a local charter school here in the South Valley. They actually asked us because we were selling there and donating to the school 
And through that last year, they actually approached us and were like, hey, just because we had such a connection with the students, a lot of the students felt really comfortable coming in and asking us questions about how to run a business, how to start a business. A lot of them were starting like little Etsy businesses for the arts and crafts, and they just come and ask us different questions about taxes and how to grow their business. And how did you get so many likes on social media, miss? And things like that. And I mean, just explaining to them how it works and everything. And, and the students really latched on to us and the faculty saw that there. That's really cool. We could tell that you're an advocate for the local community. Oh All, yeah. And every way around. From the Thank kids you. To, to the people that you outsource from. And that's really cool. Your food looks delicious. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We're excited to try yeah, it. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I really dig all the vibes about the munchie truck. Thank it's you. Really let's get our munchie on. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Yummy. Oh, is this me? This is you. Nice. Thank you for supporting local, guys. Hey. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank we appreciate you. you. Let's go eat some food. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Yum. Excited. Yo, this is my favorite part. Yee, food! Okay, I'm gonna try the falafel. Okay, you got the falafel. I will try the red chili pork with nacho cheese. Whoa! Yo! Mm. That pork is so moist. What an interesting falafel. I love that, like, the inside is the outside is fried and it's crispy, but the inside is nice and soft and moist. Yo, try this red chili. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, it's nice and messy. That's the way I like it. Mmm. Whoa. Not too spicy. It's like the perfect amount of spice. I like this one's really good too. This one's crunchy. Mm -hmm. I like the texture of this one. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the Korean barbecue. Okay, and I'm gonna go for the drunk chicken. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make a mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, I have food all over my face. It's like sweet. The flavor of the sauce is really good. Can you taste the beer in it? That's good. Yeah. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. Every one of these sliders. It's so delicious. You can definitely taste all the different flavors in them. It's the perfect size. So you should definitely come here and get one of everything. So next time you see the munchie truck driving around, wave it down because you definitely want to try one of these sliders. Try one of everything. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Bye guys. Soap up here.